guys welcome back to another on my channel today's video is about this ruby kisses hd set set it and forget it <laughs> setting powder and it claims to be 16 hour rub proof wear so um this powder comes in four colors the first shade is invisible it's more like a translucent color and this one is like a yellow yellowish color it's called banana then they have a shade called earth which really reminds me of the sasha buttercup like powder and i was like i don't know if i should do a dupe for that but i noticed that when i tried all of these in the store this one fit my skin tone better so if you would like to see like a follow-up a comparison between the Sasha Buttercup and this powder I will definitely be much obliged so when you first get this it basically has this sticker right it has the sticker says improved formula and I guess the old one was like worse because you want to improve something if it wasn't like trash before not trash but it wasn't good enough because you know if it ain't broken they'll fix it right so I would just assume maybe the old formula was not as good and when you open it up if it had a um, little sticker on here but it has this little turnstile type of thing in here and it just keeps the powder in so if you ever have to like use this more than once as we all do we don't just going to use this one time and just throw it away it helps keep your powder in unlike some other products like the kylie cosmetics um highlighter they're in these little small tubes and when you open it up it's just like poof, it's like a cloud of dust and i just hate it so i don't even use the highlight anymore so that's a part of the packaging that i do like it's like this little plastic outer obviously you can take this out but i wouldn't recommend that because then you will have to um every time you open this up it will be a ton of kick up in your lid and if you know um setting powder you would not like that just for travel or just taking it out with you it just be like a hassle to carry along and who likes a hence not me like not not me not me but um this product i believe it resells for between 3.99 and 5.99 and i just think it is a good um it's a good setting powder uh other than this one i recently purchased the maybelline fit me loose finishing powder i think this one is good as well but it just it doesn't have this like gives you that highlighted effect as the banana powder from ruby kisses gives you because it's that one's either you have to go a little bit lighter maybe i got the wrong one or i just needed something with a little bit more yellow to bring out that highlight in my face so um it wouldn't be a full review if I didn't do the flashback test. I'm going to put up two photos. The first one is going to be a photo of just flash from my camera. I'm going to put it right here. And then the second photo is going to be from my phone because I know those two flashes differ. And I know if you're ever looking for um, a setting powder, you're always looking for no flashback no flashback mary because sister james charles taught us all a great lesson please check your um setting powders for silk and here's the second photo from my phone okay guys now you've seen how this um looks with flash from a camera how it looks just on camera with out any flash just regular box lighting and then you have seen how unfortunately it looks on a phone yeah um i don't think this is a great buy for the simple fact that it leaves that white cast under your eyes 
and you can see it every place I put it on like you can see it everywhere like even though my nose looks shiny before it looks shiny on camera when I took those pictures as you've seen it looked crazy like real crazy like sis why did you just do that with baby powder like who fought you and was like pow baby powder everywhere like um I wish I wish so I'd be like oh my gosh please let one of these um, powders be great and I think I just sometimes wish one of these like really cheap powders will work and I think for me this um wait do this got silica oh girl girl this got it too like I just wish I could get one setting powder from the drugstore that don't give me flashback i if that can, if that can become a thing i definitely will be purchasing but like every pow it's like every powder i purchase um silica is always a main staple or talc which also causes flashback that i've heard um it's always a main staple in products and I just feel like until um, a company comes out with something other than, you know, what's the norm for setting powders, um, not people of color, but also every everyone has this problem. So it's not like just all black girls, all they setting powders always flush right now. It's like everyone in the beauty community has this problem. From the fairest tones to the darkest skin tones so like it's a problem for everybody and i just wish one brand one brand would just come out with one and stick it in the drugstore and it just be the greatest like gem of the drugstore like la girl pro concealer was to 2000 whatever but overall i think i would get this like a uh, i mean it looked cute on camera so five out of ten yeah, I know that's harsh because usually all my ratings are like 8 through 10. But this, because it has flashback, the purpose, not the purpose, the pur the first purpose of the setting powder is to actually set your face, lock in all the concealer, the creams that you put on your face. But the second job is for it to not flashback because you never know where you're going. You don't, sometimes you don't plan your nights to be like, oh, I'm going to just go out during the day and come in at night. Like no sis do you, like when i'm supposed to go to um like a club or a party and be like no flash photography I have the sign like around my neck like <laughs> sis am i a museum like no so i just think they should create something that an average girl can come from work with and look like this and go to a party and look the exact same you feel me without spending that Laura Mercier $38 because I still haven't got around to paying that much you know what I mean like because that is like really on the expensive side and I just always look for something more drugstore more affordable because sis I know how it feels to be broke currently am still broke so like you feel me but I just I just wish that new and improved sticker would have gave me what I wanted maybe it was worse I don't know like Maybe if I tried the old formula, I would have been like, oh, thank God they didn't move that. But still, for the fact that the flashback looked like this on my phone and this on my camera, like the camera do some justice, but the phone, since the phone exposed you, like, like, you be looking sick. But I don't hate it. I probably use it for like setting my eyes but other than that i would never touch this like going out with my friends going to dinner or anything because i know it could possibly be too dark and it could always possibilities for flash photography so ruby kisses i love your lipstick sis but like this was a no for me but that's all for my review today guys i hope you love the video as much as i love you and I hope you have a great night, morning, or wherever you're watching this. You could be watching this from the middle of the ocean or your room. So, I love you. Have a great day, night, or otherwise. See ya. Active. Active makeup. I think this line is going to do great.